another question I get a lot is, Harley, I know that you run marathons and you win 24 hour mountain bike races and you've ridden them all over the world, you've done over 180,000 kilometers of vegan, blah, 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 but I don't want to train like that. I don't want to be that fit. And it's like, that's fine. You don't have to be. You don't have to go, you know, yeah, training with Lance Armstrong and like stuff, crazy stuff I do and all that, blah, 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 and racing in A grade or, you know, doing 500 Ks on New Year's Day or whatever. You, know, you don't have to do that. That's just what I like to do. You know, I find it. It's a challenge for me personally. I like to compare my old times and my new times and you know, challenge myself against some of you the know, fittest people on the planet. I like to do that. It's fun, you know. You don't need to do that, but you need to exercise. So how much exercise is enough? How much exercise is enough is individual it's an individual question because you might you might want to be fitter than me, or you might not want to be fitter than me. So it's you might want to be stronger. You might want to be a bodybuilder. You, know, you might not want to be a marathon runner. So you got to train like a bodybuilder. Don't train like me. Don't train like a cyclist. You know, do more weights and less cardio. And if you want to get leaner, do more cardio, less weight. So it's you know you got to ask yourself, what do I want to become? What do I want to look like? What do I want to feel like? And how do I do that? So what do I want to train like? So that's basically how to answer that one. How much exercise do I need to do? Depends on what you want to be. Does that make sense? If you want to look like a marathoner, be like a marathon runner, train like a marathon runner. If you want to be a yogi master, train like a yogi master. If you want to be a bodybuilder, train like a bodybuilder. If you want to be a sumo wrestler, train like a sumo wrestler. It's pretty simple. So that's that's the bottom line. Train for what you want to become. If you want to do half an hour walking around the neighborhood and playing lawn bowls, that's fine. That's great. Do that. And look like that. That's fine. You know, you don't have to be a crazy freak show, whatever. A half an hour a day, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time to train. You know, it's uh, you can get a lot done in half an hour. If you if you, you know, if you run for half an hour a day, you're gonna be freaking fit. You know, you're gonna be bloody fit. And if you race on the weekends, you're gonna be even fitter. And if you were uh, you know train even smarter, having recovery days and tapering and maybe read a running magazine or a book and learning how to train properly, half an hour a day is a lot, man. You will get so fit on half an hour a day. If you train smarter, not about training harder, you can go fry yourself every day every day for 30 minutes and eventually at the end of the month or the second month or maybe the sixth month, you just totally burn out, blow out and blub out. But if you train smart 30 hours, 30 minutes a day, man, you'll get some massive gains in whatever sport you're doing. If you train smarter versus harder. Educate yourself, read up the best training manuals from all the top coaches, you know, and do that. It's simple and it's fun. Be as fit as you can. Eat more to live more. And if you try and do a shortcut by calorie restricting to lose weight to speed it up, what's going to happen is your body's going to yank you back and say, no, 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 this exercise is too much, it's too hard. We're in starvation mode. We're going to slow your metabolism down. We're going to store more fat when we get enough calories. And we're going to slow you down, chub you out, and blow you out. So the secret is eat more to live more. Eat more to train more. Train more to feel more, to live more, to be more experience more, you know what I mean? People take drugs to feel high, go for a run, do some yoga, you know, chase your kids around if you want to feel high, have sex, whatever. Move your body to feel good. Eat enough carbohydrates each day so you can move your body. Never restrict your carbohydrates. I don't care if you're eating rice and beans or corn or chips or whatever. Never restrict your carbohydrate intakes ever. Restrict your fat intake, cut out the animal, dead animals, fruits your friend, eat as much as you want. 10 grams of carbohydrates per kilo per day as a minimum, yes, minimum. We live in a society where people are so sedentary, like, oh, I'm gonna take a, oh, I'm gonna take an elevator, or oh, I'm gonna walk. I'm in Kuala Lumpur today, and I said, how far is the hotel from the airport? And they said, oh, you cannot walk, that's too far. So we, we walked, it was 400 meters. 400 meters and people are telling us it's too far to walk. You know, I mean, we live in that sort of society. So 10 grams of carbs per kilo per day, that's a lot of food, that's amazing. You'll be so full, you won't want the junk that makes you fat. You won't want to have to calorie restrict because you're fat from eating junk. Because now you eat enough carbohydrates from your favorite sources, fruit's always the best, and now you don't have to worry about all the health consequences of all these you know, low, low calorie, high fat, low carb quack diets. You won't have to do these crazy cleanses and bogus products. And I get morons in the industry telling me, Harley, that's oversimplified. People are too dumb, stupid, unwilling, and lack responsibility to take that much action. Well, I disagree. I believe you're responsible. I believe you want the best. I believe you can do it, because if I can do it, anyone can do it. I ain't special. I just you know, got the strategy. And I took the advice and people getting the results I desired. Just lifted it from people like Doug Graham and 
Dr. McDougall, Carl Lewis and Lance Armstrong, people like that, the training and diet and thinking techniques, just lift it from them, boom. Take advice and people getting the results you desire, bottom line. Never restrict your carb intake, train smart, live your life, enjoy it and give more hugs to your kids.